Hey everyone, welcome back to another edition of Azure Every Day with Pragmatic Works. I'm Chris Seferlis, Senior Principal Consultant over here. And today I'm excited to talk about device management with Azure IoT Hub. Uh, so we've done a few discussions around Azure IoT Hub and, and what it brings. And now we're going to talk about how the devices that you're bringing to the table get managed, right? IoT Hub provides the features and extensibility that really enable devices and the individuals who program those devices and their architectures um, with a robust device management, management solution, right? So devices are, are all over the place. They're sensors, they're microcontrollers, they're Raspberry Pi computers, you know, basically a mini computer, fully functional. It's also uh, the gateways that route the communications for groups of devices, right? So they're installed on a local network um, and they can work in peer-to-peer -peer networks or they'll have a router that passes the information back and forth. Uh, and they have a lot of different uses, right? So IoT Hub offers a flexible platform for a whole bunch of different industries and devices in order to really be able to um, have that capability no matter what your industry is, okay? Um, and a significant part is the planning of how the devices, the gateways, and the IoT Hub will work together. So at a high level, what I'm going to look at is the device management principles, the data li device life cycle, sorry, and the device management patterns, okay? So when we talk about the principles, right, you've got your scale and automation, okay? You need to, re you need to have simple tools to automate routine tasks, right? You need the ability to manage millions of devices simply and easily, and they need to be managed remotely and in bulk. You need to be able to make sweeping changes across a whole suite of devices, okay? Furthermore, you need to be alerted only when there's a problem, right? You don't want to be alerted for every single change or every single notification, okay? Um, there needs to be an openness and compatibility about the nature of the devices, right? There are many different devices, protocols, patterns. So IoT Hub needs to accommodate all of those changes and all, and all of those opportunities. So um, you've got a range of devices from single process chips to fully functional computers, and we need to have the flexibility in order for that to, uh, to accommodate those systems. You need to have context awareness, right? So you must be able to accommodate uh, the SLA and maintenance windows, right? For, for when there's going to be downtime, when there's going to be planned power outages. You need to know uh, network states and power states, right? You need to know in-use conditions. So what are the expectations while the devices themselves are, are working? And you need to know where the device is, whether it's in a building, whether it's, you know, in a specific area, whether it's, uh, you know, out in a field on a, on a telephone pole, right? Um, and they also serve many roles, right? So they have to work within the IT operations of your group, right? So they have to be easily managed from that group or as an extension to that group. Um, and they need to be able to surface alerts when it's required. Uh, and, and that all needs to work within your internal IT ecosystem uh, in order to uh, keep that consistency and continuity inside the business. Now, when we talk about the device life cycle, right, uh, we start with, we're going to plan this out, right? How will we use the devices and how will they be managed and what devices will they be for my specific instance, okay? Next, we need to provision them. We need to add them into the IoT hub identity registry so that when we go to configure them, the next step, they're ready to go and they're, they're being acknowledged as devices in the system. So next we configure them, we can send confirm, uh, firmware updates securely, and we want to monitor the health. We want to keep that, uh, we want to keep maintaining the health of the device even when we're doing these updates and configurations. We also need to monitor and watch the device health, right? Is, is the device itself beginning to fail? Some of these are very, very uh, small, simple devices that have a certain lifespan, right? We need to monitor the status of the device itself. And you need to be able to get notification alerts for when the device does start to have problems. Um, 
And then ultimately you need to retire those devices. You need to re remove old devices that are, that are no longer effective. They need to be removed from uh, that platform so that they're not showing up and they're not cluttering up the space of, of that um, IoT hub uh, interface. Uh, and then lastly, when we talk about device management patterns, right? How are we interacting with devices after they've been deployed, right? Um, so simple operations that you would do on a computer, uh, rebooting, factory reset, and redeploy, right? So if we're going to factory reset one of these devices, we need to reconfigure it so that it can be brought back up in the system. You need to do simple configurations. You need to change how the devices behave. And again, as we spoke before, uh, these need to be done in bulk, right? You need to send firmware updates. Uh, firmware updates are key to being able to, um, you know, make sure that you're staying on top of bug fixes and new functionality and features for those devices. And lastly, uh, you need to show reporting progress and status of the devices themselves, right? Uh, you need to make sure that, that um, you have visibility into how the devices are performing and if there are any problems with them. Uh, so that's a pretty um, high-level overview of device management with Azure IoT Hub. Um, I hope that this, uh, this was informative and useful. If you've got more questions about IoT Hub uh, or Azure in general, we're happy to help out. We're, we're really excited about this stuff, and we love playing with it. So um, feel free to reach out with the link below. Get in touch, and, uh, and let's, uh, let's chat about it. Thanks a lot. Have a great day, and appreciate your time.